Alright guys, I have been asked to do a kit run through for both of my electric kit and my acoustic kit. My acoustic one I'll do a bit later, but here goes the one with my electric kit. Now, obviously I'm using nothing else but the Roland TD30 KEV. I absolutely love this kit, it's been my kit of dream for so many years. I just love the way it plays, love the way it sounds, love the way it feels. So yes, this is a kit I've always aspired for and a year ago I was lucky enough to be able to buy one for myself. So the kit I've used on quite a few of my covers in the past has been the Fusion kit. Uh, I love this kit, I think it's just a really good raw sound of the drums. Another kit I really love on this uh, 2D30 is the Acid Funk kit, I think it's called. So I've used this kit as uh, a bass sound for a lot of my other covers as well. I've kind of played around with the sounds on it, uh, compressed the snare a bit more, changed the tune of the tom slightly and the mic positions, which is another great feature on the TD30. Uh, you can change the mic positions of where it would be on a cymbal, on a drum, change of dampening. So yeah, I've just played around with it a little bit just to get my sound, get how I want my drum kit to feel and sound like. So yeah, this is the Acid Funk kit I was on about um, and I'm gonna put on the adapted version that I actually created myself, uh, which I was saying about the change in the mic positions and the changing of just the drum sounds in general. For pedals, for me, it's none other than DW. So I'm running the DW 9000s both on the hats and on the kick drum. Now, another thing I really love about this kit as well is you can change the rim sounds of the drums themselves, change them to something completely different. It really helps the versatility of the kit. And um, again, it, it contributes to the fact why this is my kit. <laughs> Now on to my acoustic kit, which I use with Acres. Um, sorry if the lighting and stuff's different, I had to do it on a different day because I ran out of time yesterday. It's a Natal uh, Walnut uh, Fusion sizes, 10 by 6 and 16 by 14. And my kick is 20 by 18 standard sort of rock size. The snare I use is a custom made one. I actually built myself on a drum building course with a guy down in Brighton, uh, a guy called Preston. Uh, he runs a course called Tiki Drums. Uh, you basically learn to build your own drums. And yeah, I've been using this ever since. I've kind of never really had anyone say anything bad about it, everyone loves the sound of it, I always get comments on how good it sounds. Um, used it on tour, um, I used it in the studio as well to track the latest album. I use it for most of my work. I absolutely love this snare, uh, it's just got a really unique crack to it. Now the heads I use on my drums are, as you can see, Remo's. The snare head I use is none other than the Paris Stroke P77. Uh, I just find this is the most versatile head. I could actually find. Uh, it just does everything I need it to. On the Toms, I have the Emperor White Suede. The White Suede were brought to me, uh, or brought to my attention, should I say, by my friend Nick uh, in Hollow, and he was using the Black Suede at one point, and I just loved the sound and the warmth, the punchiness, the total tonality of them, and especially as he plays in the towel kit as well. I figured they really worked on his drum, so they're probably going to work on mine. So yeah, I wanted something uh, that I could use with, not just with Acres, but with my session work as well, with other bits and bobs that I do, so I thought they do a white suede as well, so I'll get the white suede. 
and I've never looked back since. I really love them, they suit the drums perfectly. I haven't found a better skin that suits these drums. Now on the kick, I use the Pinstripe Coated. I'm not sure about this skin at the moment. I'm sort of playing with the idea of uh, switching up something else. I'm just gonna have a play around. I haven't really found the perfect kick skin for this kit for me yet. In case you missed it, in the uh, first part of the vlog, uh, on my electric kit, of course I'm using DW9000s. Now my cymbal setup is probably the one I've had the most questions about. So here's the rundown of my cymbal setup. I'm using Allsabian. On my hats, I'm running the 13 inch AX Fast Hats. I uh, just love the crisp sound that they bring. The bottom hat's really thick and has some air holes on the bottom which make it that kind of crisp sound. And then just over my hat to the left here, I've made a stack. Uh, it's a combination between a 10 inch Ozone and a 8 inch HH. I just sort of bought these cymbals separately and thought ah, I'll chuck them together see what they sound like. And yeah now I'm using Live With Acres and they're on the new album as well. Just really cuts through, it's really nice snappy sound. I haven't been done up quite tight. So on my left here I've got the uh, AAX Explosion Fast Crash, it's an 18. Love this crash, I've used it for a number of years now extremely thin, it's got the oxidised bell on it, um, but the only problem with it being so thin and not actually that big in theory is it does crack quite easily. So I've got through a number of these crashes now. On my ride, I've actually got a crash ride, uh, it's the HHX Legacy and it's a 20 inch, uh, I think it's a Dave Weckl signature one. Um, I love this ride, it's so versatile, anyway hit on it. Um, creates a completely different sound, so no sound will ever be the same, uh, and that's what I love about it. I can use it for so many different things. And probably my favourite symbol on the kit at the moment I have on my right is my HH 20 inch thin. I took this symbol into the studio for the first time I actually used it uh, to track the new album, and the boys and acres said just how good it sounded straight off the bat. Um, it was the first comment they actually made was how good this cymbal sounds. So warm, uh, just cuts through. So yeah, it's the perfect cymbal for me to have on my right. And again, Versatile does everything I need it to in pretty much every situation. And quite possibly the most sharp and punchy of my collection, I have on my very far right an AAX uh, Ozone. It really, really cuts through live. Uh, it's quite piercing. It's an 18, so it's it's not too small, but it is big enough to make it loud enough to really cut through. So down to my hardware, if you didn't catch within the first um, part of the vlog, what I use, I'm using Yamaha hardware um, around my kit on the cymbals. And last but not least, my stick choice. Now I've used Vata for a number of years now. Again, off a of recommendation, I find they're durable. They don't break that easily, even if I'm giving it some. Uh, I think on the last tour, I only got through probably three or four pairs over a sort of two and a half week tour, so it wasn't too bad. The stick size I'm using is the double five double A's. I found the double five double A's with that extra bit of room on the end, I can hold, get away with holding sticks a little bit further up. Uh, I have a tendency to hold them right down the bottom like that, which isn't good for my hands. And um, so yeah, it gives me the opportunity to hold them a bit further up and still get that power through uh, the stick. And that's why I love these so much. They just work. As always, if you have any questions or any comments, any recommendations, uh, let me know and put them in the comments below. And I look forward to hearing from you guys.